What's up guys, Tony Sidibu here from Cyber Simulator today for their latest update, version 2.054. Before we get into this update, I just want to say if you are new to the channel or not subscribed, it would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. Please turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos, live streams and pet giveaways. Okay guys, so I usually show you what's been released on the website, uh, but unfortunately the website hasn't been updated, so it's still showing um, last week's update on there. So I have actually looked in their Discord channel and they have updated the game um, and it looks like they've just kept everything the same as last week. So I believe from what I've read we've still got the two times look week. Um, we've got a new island and new pets. Now I'm not sure if there's anything else in here but we'll actually check that out. So let's go and book, uh, buy the new sabers first. So the last one that I brought was the Heaven Fusion Blade, which was the one from last week. That gave you 104.36 QT per swing, and it did cost 30.2k in. So at the moment, I do on the ground floor, just say 24kc, just round it off. So 24kc, if we buy the first one, let's see what we get. So that goes up to 25kc. So that's actually just an increase of one. So let's buy all of them and hopefully. Yeah, so I've managed to get all of them. Okay, so as I said, I was doing 24kc with the Heaven Fusion Blade, which gave me 104.36 QT swing, costing 30.2 in. These ones do cost quite a pretty penny. Um, as you can see, they are quite expensive. Um, some of them lie in the 70 and 80k in marks and then when you get further down you're talking 142, 155 and then 169k in um, now these sabers are getting a bit ridiculously overpriced <coughs> excuse me um, now a lot of people are going to struggle to carry on buying these on a weekly basis if they keep going up really really high um, but hopefully they bring out some better pets and hopefully with these new features that they keep saying they're going to be bringing out uh, which we haven't seen yet guys which I hope we do so shortly see hopefully they bring out um, more auras and additional stuff to give us more boosts for our strength and coins um, because we are going to need them in the future unfortunately okay so as I said I was doing 24kc with my original blade now with the new fusion blade on the bottom floor, I'm now going from 24kc to 64kc. That's an increase of 20kc just for the um, the sabers. So there's 20 sabers that have been released. Um, so in total, you're looking at each one roughly gives you over uh, between 1kc and over. Um, and then you will obviously get a lot more. Um, obviously... I'm getting this much uh, save, so swing at the moment because I'm level 50 on the fire element. Um, I am going to be doing a video shortly on all the elements, saying uh, showing which one I believe is the best for each one. Whether you're uh, grinding for strength or you want additional uh, DNA space and so on. So I'll try and get that done ASAP so you guys can see which ones you need uh, to get yourself just in case you've started doing one element and it's not the one that you um, really need so I'll try and get that done ASAP okay guys so I'm gonna see if there's any new jumps or bossets no there's not okay so let's check the crown shop hopefully we've got some new auras no we've still got the hero aura and it looks like yeah we've still got the pet ascendant aura unfortunately Okay guys, so there's no new um, auras um, <clears throat> on the crane shop, um, but I do keep looking at this crane board and I do actually see one of my alt accounts on uh, the second place, um, so I'm not sure why my alt has got more crowns than my main character, um, but never mind. Okay guys, so <clears throat> see I am going to be jumping up to Island 90. And then we're going to make our way up to Island 91. So the egg cost down here was 325 capital S. We'll jump up to Island 91 and check out the price of that egg. We'll also start hatching the egg and see what pets we can get. 
And as I said, I do believe it's a two-time luck week still. I don't think they've taken that off. So hopefully, guys, we should be able to hatch all nine pets in the new egg rel relatively, relatively quickly. <coughs> Couldn't get my words out then. Um, so I will try and open the eggs and get them as quickly as possible, guys. So I am going to speed this video up, um, guys, while I jump up to Island 91, just so um, it doesn't take too long to get there. So I'll be back once I get to Island 91, guys. Okay, guys, so I've slowed the video back down. As you can see, I've just got my badge for Island 91. Now, the egg cost on this island is 487 capital S. That's an increase of 162 capital S, being that the egg below was 325 capital S. Okay, guys, so... I am going to start hatching the egg. Just going to turn these back on, just so I get them, so we can check these out. Um, so we're going to start hatching the egg now, guys, and see what pets we can get. And I said, hopefully, it's still the two times look week from what I read on the Discord channel, uh, being that the website has not been updated. So we'll start hatching the eggs now and see what we can get. As always guys, once I start getting the pets, I will actually uh, turn each individual one off so I don't fill my bag up. And let's have a look at this. Oh. Okay, so I've got the one star. Got the three star. Uh, okay, I've got the one the fours. I've got the five. And I've got the six. Okay, so that looks good. So turn that off, turn that off, that and that. So I need the second, well, the two star, the other four star, and then the double and triple. So let's hopefully get these. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and there we go. So I've got the two and four star. Hopefully they're. Okay, so that's the four star. Let's have a look at the two star. Where are you? Okay, so that's the two star. Okay, so it looks like I've got all the nine, the seven normal pets. So get those turned off. And now we can just concentrate on the double and triple guys. <coughs> Hopefully, as I said, we don't actually uh, wait too long for these. Frog, I'm sorry today. Okay. So we haven't touched the double or triple as you can see at the moment. So I am hoping that it is still the two times luck weekend which they did put on their Discord channel. Um it would have been better if they updated the website so we could have been one hundred percent certain. But Fingers crossed they update the website quite soon um, and then we can see and make sure that it's the, it's still the two times luck weekend. So as you can see I've just uh, hatched two double moon pets. So I am just waiting for the triple moon pet. So I will obviously give it another couple of minutes. As always guys, if I, it does take too long for me to get the triple moon pet, uh, which sometimes it can take between uh, 25 minutes to an hour, even in the luck week. Um, I will obviously speed up the video, and as you can see, I've just got a third uh, double moon pet. So it looks like it is still a two times luck week for me to get three double moon pets um, pretty quickly. So that is a good sign. <coughs> um, but as I was saying, I will speed the video up until I get the triple moon pet. Hopefully I can get it on video without speeding up. If I do speed it up, you'll still see it on video. It just means that I'll be speeding up a little bit quicker um, until I actually get it. So hopefully we'll get it shortly. But I did just get a fourth double moon pet. So 
hopefully one of those were either golden, shiny or rainbow. And I think I've just got another double bed moon pit as well, I think it looked properly. Um, it would be nice to actually hatch a void on release day. I've just got another double. So, I, I think I can actually safely say that this is still the two times luck week, uh, guys. Um, even though they haven't actually put it on the website, but they did leave it on the Discord channel. For me to get five double moon pets um, right away, um, that must be because of the sort of uh, the two times look weekend. Because when the two times look week one here, um, I would not get that many moon pets in the short space of two minutes or two, but two to three minutes, I think it was. So. Thankfully, it looks like we have still got the double look. So, if you guys are still hatching um, eggs down below, uh, whether it's Island 90, 89, or 88, and you are trying to get the pets to make a void, uh, whether it's a double or triple, then you can obviously jump back to those islands and carry on getting the pets to make the evolution that you want, or you can jump up here and hatch this one. So, it is still taking a little bit of time for this trip moon pet. Um, I think it must be a bit scared to actually show itself. So, I am going to look at speeding the video up very shortly um, until I get this trip moon pet. And then, once I do get the uh, trip moon pet, we can obviously check out all the pets, what their names are, what the stats are. And I'll also equip the double and triple, just so we can see what they look like for this week's um, update and hopefully they are pretty decent and we'll also see if there's any uh, pets that are similar pets that have been previously used and just used on this island so it is <clears throat> still taking a bit of time for this triple moon pet so once again guys i am going to be speeding the video up um, until I get the triple moon pet and then when I've got it I will slow the video back down and then we will actually check out all the pets, the names and stats so I'm going to speed this video up now guys and I'll be right back <laughs> Okay guys, so I've slowed the video down because as you can see I've managed to get the Trip Moon Pet now. Um, it did take just under 30 minutes to get the Triple Moon. Uh, before we go over the pets I just want to say um, that I have checked the website while I was hatching and they have actually updated the website and it does state on there that it is still a two times luck week. So it does confirm what they said on their Discord channel. Okay guys, so we're going to check out these pets now. So we'll start with the one star pet and go through to the triple moon. So the one star pet of the new egg is the hooded reflection. And the hooded reflection will give you 4100 strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 394. Following that is our two star pet, which is the realm spirit. Now the realm spirit will give you 4817.5 strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 395. Pet number three, which is our three star pet is my friends now my friends will give you 5660.56 strength and coin boost and a crane boost 396 um and it's a bit of a strange name my friends okay <laughs> um 
I don't know where they got that from. Um, first four star pet of the um, Egoes, which is pet number four, is the Reflect Wraith. Now, the Reflect Wraith will give you 6,651.16 strength and coin boost, and a crown boost of 397. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, following that, guys, we have a second four star pet of the egg, which is the uh, Notice, not, not, notice Sulfur. Okay. Interesting name. Um, now, this one will give you 7,815.11 strength and coin boost, and a crown boost of 398. Um, following that, guys, we have our, five st uh, our sixth pet, which is our five-star pet, <coughs> which is the Reflective Demon. Now, the, def the Demon will give you 9,182.76 strength and coin boost, and a crown boost of 399. Now, <coughs> I would not have believed I would have been saying that a five-star pet, which is pet number six, would be close to 10,000 strength and coin boost starting. Now the crowns aren't that good, but obviously to have a, a pet that you can relatively get easier than the uh, the moon pets, to have just under 10,000 strength and coin starting, um, these are starting to get a lot more overpowered now in the strength and coins. Unfortunately the crowns are quite low, but if you are just grinding strength and coins, then obviously these ones will start getting better and better. Following that, guys, we have our first moon pet of the egg, which is pet number seven. And that is Timothy's Reflection. Now, Timothy's Reflection will give you 10,789.74 strength and coin boost. And a crown boost of 4,050. Now, if you've obviously noticed already, all these pets are... Um, obviously referencing reflection um, so this is obviously the uh, reflection island even though they haven't named it that I'm gonna name it because of the name of the pets following that guys we have our double moon pet of the egg which I actually hatched quite a few whilst trying to get the triple so the double moon pet is the shadow reflection now the shadow reflection will give you 37,000 strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 7650 so I'm just going to make one of these golden. And I have actually got a few more. So I can actually make two goldens and still have... Yeah, okay. So we'll check out the, um, the stats of the golden in a second. Following that, guys, we have our final pet of the egg, which is the Trip Moon Pet, which you can see here. Now, if you look at this pet, this pet is very similar to... Um, last week's design um, and the week before um, just obviously changed a couple of things so if you look at this one compared to that you've got um, something just at the bottom and you've got like little horns where you've got the horns here but these ones are obviously see-through so really it's just a carbon copy of this pet from Island 89 uh, which obviously followed on to Ireland 90 where they just added an extra bit of uh, blackness here and took the horns off and now they've obviously just brought the horns back and put some sort of reflective stuff on the bottom so we will, we will actually put this on in a second just to have a look guys so this pet is called the reflection of darkness now the reflection of darkness will give you a starting stat of 40,000 strength and coin boost and a crown boost of 12,150 now, as you can see here, um, <coughs> these ones, sorry, uh, these ones are from Islands um, 88 and 89. That was from Island 90, and then this from 91. So this one is the same as 88 and 89. So as you can see, here, we still obviously get our standard 500 increase on strength and coin boost, and 100 on crowns. So to have a pet starting stats at 40,000, um, that's actually getting better and better week on week. Um, so in a very short period of time, we will obviously see these hopefully at 50,000 um, in a couple of months, hopefully. So 
those are obviously all the nine pets now i am going to equip these pets just to see what they are but first of all we're going to have a look at the stats on the golden double moon pet um as you can see i actually hatched one and made two so the um golden shadow reflection gives you 55,500 strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 11,475 um, and as you can see here I also managed to hatch a shiny so when you go from uh, golden to shiny you get 74,000 strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 15,300 um, now just to have a shiny at start instead of 74,000 that would help a lot of people out um, did I? No, I haven't. <coughs> I thought I might have hatched some uh, more evolutions of those, but I haven't. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to take uh, one of these off. And then we'll put this one on first. The Shadow Reflection. So that's what the Shadow Reflection looks like at the moment. And the Reflection is basically the pet itself, just as a flat um, model underneath. So it's just reflecting itself on the floor to give you that um, look. So that does actually look a pretty decent pit actually. Um, it's got some beefy horns on it. So, and he's got some beefy ears as well. Interesting. Okay, so that's what that one looks like. Let's have a look at the triple moon pit. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so the triple moon pit is a reflection of darkness as you can see here. So, quite colourful. Just for a standard pet, uh, it is quite colourful. And as once again, you've got the reflection of the pet um, as a 2D model on the underneath of it. So, that makes it a little bit more unique, to be honest. So, that's that's actually quite uh, quite good. Also, <coughs> excuse me. Also, you can actually see that it's see-through as well. You can actually see the blade from my saber um, through the pet, so that's interesting. So if we take this off and then put the golden and shiny double moon pet on, just see what it's like. So the golden, um, I don't actually notice any difference between the standard and the golden. Uh, looks very, very similar. I can't see no different colours on it. So let's get rid of the golden and have a look at shiny. Oh, okay, so the shiny one, um, it's a lot more purple. Um, and also, the 2D model changes from a white um, 2D see-through model to a greyish model. Okay, I'm not sure why they would have changed the um, reflection to resemble grey when it's purple. Um, interesting. I thought it would have been a lot greyer if it was a lot darker, but being that this is a light lighter, um, I would have expected that to be a little bit lighter. If you if you guys agree with me that this should be a little bit lighter than dark grey, um, just uh, leave a comment in the section down below and hit that thumbs up button to say that you think that um, that should also be a lighter colour. But for a shiny pet, that is quite... Uh, purple um, and to be honest you can't actually make the actual pet out it looks like it's all a jumble um, where at least one at least when obviously it's normal or golden you can actually make all the individual stuff out so it's got some little wings here as well it's, as uh, the big wings let's have a look if you can see it with this on so when this is on it loses all the detail in it it looks like it's just a mishmash of colour just all put into one um, you've got no detail of the wings um, personally I don't like the shiny version of this pet I'm not sure if you guys like it or not if you if you agree with me you don't like it because it's lost all its detail please leave a comment in the section down below uh, saying that you, know, you agree that the detail should still be there even though it's a shiny pet and um, it looks like this one's just been rushed <coughs> excuse me so hopefully um, the shiny and rainbow versions of the double and triple moon pet aren't the same uh, where all the detail gets lost 
because to have higher pets like that you do want the detail in there so the look uh, at least half decent but we'll have to see when we actually hatch those okay guys so that is all nine pets of the egg on island 91 um so just recap on the update we've got new sabers which are the double fusion blade we've got new egg new pets new island um we don't have any new auras or classes at the moment hopefully the new features will be coming soon being that they've been promising us that for nearly four weeks now um so i am actually looking forward to see what kind of features they are going to be adding into the game um just so they can revamp it and give it a bit more life because uh, at the moment just having a island and egg a lot of people are obviously saying that it's just same thing week on week um, but we are getting newer pets with better stats to keep us going but we could do with some new features as it said and as I said earlier hopefully something that will increase um, giving, our, giving us our stats for strength coin and crowns uh, whether or not it's like upgrades for the pets so even though you can get the pets to level 100 <coughs> excuse me um, you can obviously spend your crowns to buy additional upgrades um, to allow your pets to go past level 100, um, say to level 150, and obviously you just use your crowns, and you can just keep obviously uh, buying as much stuff as you want. I've, hopefully, the, if they do do that, they don't end up using all your crowns, because that will be a bit pointless, because you'll never be able to open the egg. But for a short, for, sorry, for a small amount of crowns, you could obviously buy... Um, certain levels to add to your pets um, and then what they could also do they could do some sort of refund where if you decide to get rid of your pet or take it off you've got a button so for instance when you're on your pet here where you've got the uh, unequip button say you had a little button here saying um, unequip upgrades and then you'd have another section where your upgrades would be uh, stored and then you could click on your new pet and then add those upgrades to that new pet um, and then obviously it increases your strength, your coins and your crown boost. Uh, if they've done something like that, that would actually help a lot of people as well with single and double moon pets. Because it would actually increase the crowns and strengths for those pets as well. Um, so hopefully that might be one of the features. I'm not saying it is, but it is a good little feature that they could look at possibly adding into the game. Okay guys, so before I do go, I just want to say once again, if you are new to the channel or not subscribed, it would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. Please turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos, live streams and pet giveaways. Please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as I do try to respond to all comments that are left. And if you enjoyed this video today guys and you found it helpful, please smash that thumbs up button, see how many likes we can get on the video today. Also guys, I am going to be putting a link in the description down below for my uh, video on how to increase your crowns just in case you are still low on crowns and you are struggling to open the new eggs. Um, that will actually explain how to get your crowns up and use the daily reward um, and obviously keep your crowns high uh, just like me. Now I have followed the same process and as you can see my crowns are at the moment 2.897 capital T. Um, so that is actually about three or four after capital S. Um, so if you do follow that process, guys, you will get the your crowns up even higher, and you won't have to worry about running out of crowns. So I will put a link in the description down below for that video. Okay, guys. So I am going to end the video there. So I will obviously look at doing a, another video. As I said earlier on, I mentioned that I'm going to be doing a video on the elements to explain which one I believe is better to go for for each individual stuff, whether it's strength or DNA and so forth. Um, also, I will be doing the SaberSim All Egg Guide videos for the latest couple of eggs, so I will get them uploaded shortly as well, guys. Uh, but for now, that's it for this video, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe, guys. And peace out.